Superheroes, they're, uh, they're pretty neat. You know, they punch people real hard and then they fall unconscious for suspiciously long amounts of time. You know, I want to slice that pie. Not the whole getting punched really hard bit, but I, I want to make my own superhero. So I did. Obviously. And when I say I made my own superhero, I don't mean like I made a whole character, I just, I just designed a suit. But what's the point of characterization when you've got a suit that looks this goddamn cool? So, uh, you know. So I guess I'll start making it now. Well, I suppose I should start all the parts that I won't be making. Uh, that being the gloves, which I'm just going to be using some motorbike gloves. Uh, and the boots, which I'm just going to use the old bat suit boots, because I already have those. And with that done, I suppose I'll start the mask. To start, I'm going to cut the pleather out using this mask pattern that I found somewhere. Then after a little bit of sewing, I couldn't get it on, so I had to de-stitch the back of the mask and add a little zipper. Then after putting the 3D printed face shell in, I tried my best to make them one, but the pleather wasn't stretchy enough, so I had to remake the mask out of cotton spandex. And after a little work off screen, the mask is done. Then next I started working on the cape. It's pretty simple since it's just made from two different types of panels. Uh, this smaller one, which has only two of, and this larger one, which has about four of. And after you just sew them all together, you, just, you get a cape, which I then cut a little neck hole into using a filament spool as a guide. And to make the hood, I used an old hoodie of mine to make a template, which I then modified and cut out of fleece and pleather. And there we go, the cape is done. Moving on, it's now time for some pants. So the pants are made from an inner and outer lining. I started with the inner lining since if they turn out bad, you won't be able to tell since they'll be covered up. But then ended up not mattering since they came out really well actually. So after making the outer lining and attaching them using a pleather waistband, the pants are now also done. Moving on to the final piece of cloth, I made this shirt from a plethora of different fabrics, none of which I know the name to, but together they look really, really nice, so. Anyway, that's the entire bodysuit done, so here's what it looks like. I haven't added the cape yet, but shush. Finally, I started to move on to all of the armored bits, painting them all a slight darkish blue, with a couple of the parts having a raised purple section added to them. And I decided I wanted the suit to have a very worn-in look, so I gave everything a very heavy weathering. And for the chest plate, I wanted to have like a bunch of knife marks, so I used like an old gift card to do that. And there we go, the whole suit is now ready to be worn by me. So this is what it looks like. Uh, as usual, I used a bunch of elastic straps to kind of hold everything onto my body. I don't know, I think it gives the suit a more like tactical feel. And for the chest plate, I used the same method as the bat suit where you just get a strip of EVA foam to act as a base. But yeah, um, I think the suit turned out pretty well, actually. Um, and for anyone interested, here's a closer look at all the individual parts. Anyway, uh, bye.